It's up, Bronx Arts. Today is Thursday, September 10th, 2020. Mr. Canuel here, day one over yesterday. Great job, everyone. Today, we're just going to make it a little bit better, and that's what it is all about. Day two, making it a little bit better, stepping up our game. Here we go. As always, I have a very special guest for you today. Sixth graders got to meet him for the first time yesterday, but you know, he's the guy with the tie. Mr. Bizon, good morning, Mr. Bizon. Good morning, scholars. You know, I had to change up the tie and get the Bronx Arts tie on so I could represent. It's nice to meet you all and see you all. Fantastic. Take us into our announcements. All right. Announcement number one is if you are still having trouble logging into your Gmail, Google Classrooms, or Meets, please reach out to Mr. McCabe, Ms. Williams, Mr. Stewart, or Ms. Minegro. That's four options. Any of your teachers can help as well. That's a lot more options. Overall, we had a very successful first day, and here are some things that Mr. McCabe wanted to reflect on right now. Bronx Arts Scholars and Families, Mr. McCabe here, filming on day one. You'll see it on day two. Um, it's about noon. People just had a, a whole bunch of meetings back to back. Special shout out to the sixth grade team, teachers and students. I was with you today. Amazing things. Really impressed. So happy to have all of our sixth graders on board. Seventh and eighth grade, I'll be there later in this week. I've heard some really good things. I've heard some things we got to renorm, but amazing job everyone getting on. A couple of points to remember. Point number one, make sure when you join a Google Meet, you keep yourself on mute. If teachers need you to unmute to ask something, they will ask you. If you have a question, you put it in the chat. But other than that, the expectation is that you are staying on mute. It helps the learning experience for everyone. So please make sure that happens. Number two, unless it says math, science, ELA, social studies, or one of the arts in your schedule, for the first couple weeks, you are on your own. Log off of your computer. Shut it down. Read a book. An actual book. An, an actual book. Punching the Air. Awesome book. I am almost done with it. I just got it. If you're interested, send me an email. I will send you this exact book. Read a book. Take some time for yourself. Breathe. As we get back into the school year, there will be more and more small group instruction. But in the beginning of the year, small group, advisory, all of these things, they are not synchronous meets right now. Keep yourself well. Take care of yourself. Three, if you have any questions, please make sure you're reaching out. Thank you so much to all the people. I'm getting a text right now. Thank you so much to all the people texting, calling, asking questions. Not saying, hey, this isn't here. Why isn't this here? No. Hey, Mr. McCabe, you mind helping me with this? Hey, Ms. Williams, do you mind helping me with this? Thank you to all of those students. We really appreciate you. So again, day one in the books. So happy with how many people are here. If you saw a friend who's not here, send him a text. Shoot him an email. Call him up. Knock on their door. Let them, if you're doing that, put a mask on. But let them know that we want them here. We want as many students here as possible. We love y'all. We are so glad to have y'all back. If you have any questions, please reach out. Talk to you soon. Thank you so much, Mr. McCabe. Uh, more announcements for the seventh graders, okay? We had uh, some troubleshooting issues yesterday. So if you're a seventh grader, please, please pay attention and share out with your seventh grade peers, okay? We're doing an arts rotation until September, okay? We'll rotate through all the arts areas and we'll walk you through that selection process that happens at the end of September. But until then, we are doing a rotation just like the sixth grade is doing now and just like we did last year. So listen closely and look on your screen. Today, Thursday, 701 has theater, 702 has visual art, and 703 has dance, 704 has music. On Friday, tomorrow, 701 has visual art, 702 has dance, 703 has music, and 704 have theater, okay? So that's gonna rotate. We'll keep you updated, but it was also sent in emails and I've been doing it on Lights Up. So please be sure that you're watching Lights Up and checking your email for those rotations um, and we can eliminate some of that confusion. Here we go, day two, we could do better today. Here we go, seventh grade. Uh, not for number three, even though they are included on your schedules that were sent out, there is no community meeting or advisory this week. 
We want you to focus on getting comfortable with your schedule and making sure that you are accessing Google Meet and Google Classroom properly. Continue watching Lights Up every day and checking your email for information and scheduling updates. So again, no community meeting, no advisory this week. Announcement number four, Mr. Canuel is looking for a group of scholars to be the 2020 and 2021 Lights Up production crew. This will consist of a small group of scholars that help create Lights Up on a regular basis. We are looking for anchors to host, read announcements, and introduce guests. Guest anchors who share sports segments, the weather, video gaming, cooking and baking, producers and directors who will come up with ideas, organize special segments, and direct our guest anchors. Finally, we are also looking for editors and writers. If you are interested, please email Mr. Canuel at rcanuel at bronxarts.net. That is rcanuel at bronxarts.net. That's me. Yes, and we have some people interested in anchors. I had a scholar reach out to me with an awesome segment idea today. I have someone interested in directing and writing. So we're definitely looking for more guest anchors, more anchors, more editors. Heck, why not? More directors, more writers, right? We're, we're gonna make this about Bronx Arts and make it awesome. All right, Mr. Bison. Yesterday was the first day of school. How about we share one of a, a, a BAM highlight of the day? So for you, what was the BAM highlight of the day yesterday? So my highlight of the day was uh, reading through some of the virtual bulletin boards that were submitted to me. Uh, a lot of students put a lot of time and effort really showing themselves in this virtual bulletin board so that teachers can get to know them. Uh, and it was really helpful because, you know, I feel like you weren't able to decorate a real bulletin board or a real locker this year. So I thought it was really cool to see a virtual locker and what you would have decorated. Uh, and I got to meet some new people and get to know the students, which was awesome. It's a highlight of my day. It's good to be back. Absolutely. How about you, Mr. Canuel? What was your highlight of the day? I would say, yeah, I, I would assume that you're talking a little bit about the sixth graders uh, as, as you're the sixth grade social studies teacher. And I would say that that was a great highlight of my day too. I think they came out really strong, really excited. Uh, their participation was really strong. Their energy was really strong. So, you know, seventh and eighth grade got to step it up. However, I will give kudos to my eighth grade theater majors. It was so good to be back with that group. It's our third year together. Um, so shout out to the theater majors. Like I had a lot of fun in that class today and we we're going to have a lot of fun um, this year. So, and great participation from the eighth grade majors um, as well. So keep that up and great participation and attendance from the sixth graders. So keep that up. Seventh grade, I have some of you tomorrow. So make sure that I can give you a shout out on Friday. And now we're going into two truths and a lie. That's right. We've been playing this game all week. Some of the sixth graders got to play it in theater today. Remember, if you know what the answer is or what the lie is, you can always email me at rcanual at bronxarts.net. Only one person got Mr. Fitch's lie correct. Let's find out what it is right now. Mr. Fitch? All right. My lie, it wasn't the Little League World Series for, for those of you that thought it was. Believe it or not, I can play some ball. The lie was that I don't have three cats. That's too many cats. Who has three cats? I have one cat, but it's a very large cat. It, it looks like it's eaten two other cats, um, but still one cat, not three. All right, Mr. Bizan, you're up next. All Spotlight right. on you. What are the three facts that you want to share with us? My three statements are, number one, my favorite color is blue. Number two, my favorite food is sushi. And number three, I grew up on a farm. Okay, so your three statements, thank you for correcting me. They're not, they can't all be facts. I heard that. I heard that. Gotcha. <laughs> <Got you. laughs> the three statements are my favorite color is blue, my favorite food is sushi, and I grew up on a farm. So if you know which one of those statements is a lie about Mr. Bizon, you can go ahead and email me and we'll find out tomorrow. All right, it is now time for final words. Mr. Bizon, your final words. Uh, everybody just be safe, get to know your teachers, stay up top on your work and uh, you know, just enjoy school as much as you can. We know it's not the same from a distance, but uh, we're gonna make it the best as we can together and just stay safe and stick with it. Great, for my final words today, I'm gonna share a quote from the great poet, Maya Angelou. 
Words are things I'm convinced. You must be careful about the words you use or the words you allow to be used in your house. Someday we will be able to measure the power of words. I think they are things. I think they get on the walls. They get on your wallpaper. They get in your rugs, in your upholstery, in your clothes, and finally into you. And so thinking about what we're doing on virtual learning, when we're typing into that chat, maybe think about this quote. Make sure that you are using your words wisely and that they're not going to get into somebody else by hurting them. Okay, or hurting the vibe or hurting the community. So be be careful about the words that you choose because words have power. That is all from us. Be sure that you are watching every single day. Tomorrow we're going to have fun. It's Friday, but enjoy your day today. Good luck. Bye. Bye, everyone.